Welcome back to Ruby on Nails, and today, wow, that's way too zoomed in. Welcome back to Ruby on Nails, and today I'm gonna do things a little bit differently. Uh, my Hollow Taco order arrived pretty much the day before uh, I usually upload my videos. So normally I like to have the collection a few days before so I can play around with the formula, figure out what lighting will work the best, and you know, kind of gather my general thoughts um, beforehand. But due to it coming super late, um, I'm gonna do like a first impressions unboxing of the Hollow Taco Winter Shimmers collection. Probably should have said that earlier. Not gonna lie, I wasn't super excited for this collection. I think I was more excited about the box. My personal preference is I like it when the collections are more special effects polishes rather than creams. I like getting the creams as those like little separate bundles that come out sporadically in between collection launches. Personally, I think they're all really lovely things, but my opinions, I don't use these kinds of toppers very regularly. Maybe I will now that I have these ones. But my personal preferences, I like things that are just a little bit more chunky. However, I can see that there's totally a market for this. There are lots of people who were super excited about this collection, but you know, that's just my opinion. And um, let's see if it changes once I open the box. It might just be me, but I'm always, I always feel like I smell nail polish smell when I get these packages. I've never had a broken bottle. I've had one that was like a little overfilled, but never broken. Ooh, and then here is the package, uh, all wrapped up in bubble wrap. Oh, that's a fun texture. Oh, it doesn't come off. That's my biggest pet peeve is when glitter comes off of the box. Fucking hate that. Ooh. See, the box is just so pretty. Oh, I really like the texture. It's like sandpaper. I did order some other things. I got some more top coat and a matte top coat because I'm a simp, but you know. So my first impression is the box is of course gorgeous. The glitter itself reminds me a lot of the solar unicorn skins. So I wonder if We'll get like a shimmer that's like solar unicorn skins. Ooh. Wow! There's six polishes, none of them are broken. I'm always so paranoid because there's fairly minimal packaging when these babies ship. Oh yeah, that one does look like solar unicorn skins. Neat. FYI, I did not watch the launch stream um, because I have a busy life and I have not had time. So the first shade we have here is Celestial Lights. It's a very pretty like pink green shimmer. So you can, I don't, I'll insert close up images. But yeah, it's, it's pretty. I mean, I'm not like super excited about everything. Try to figure out like what I can use these for. Um, and if not, they'll sit on my shelf and look pretty. The next one we have is Polar Princess. This one I feel like has gotten the most hype out of everything. Okay, so maybe the one before was more of like a purple to green. This one definitely seems more like a pink, orange, green, like a tinge of teal. Yeah, that looks really pretty. I think overall this year, I really wanna push myself to do things that I haven't done before. So I'm, you know, while I'm not super enthusiastic about this now, I really hope this is like a learning uh, challenge for me to like figure out how to use these to the best of my ability. The next polish we have is Twilight Shimmer. I don't know if it's just me, but these all look really similar in the bottle. Okay, when they're not in direct light, it's a little easier to tell. So like Twilight Shimmer is like a purple and blue. Yeah, it's easier to see the difference when they're not in like super direct lighting like this. So I think once I get them underneath the camera on like a dark or white base, it'll look a lot more different. Um, Cause like in the, sh when they're shadowed, you can definitely tell that there is like a color shift. Okay, so onto the creams. 
Like I was saying before, I prefer the creams like being separately released. I know that's maybe shitty, but I like these collections to be like super interesting. And creams, I know they're like the most popular on the website, but like I feel like creams are a little boring. Maybe I'll get absolutely annihilated in the comments for saying that, but I like special effect polishes and I'm not gonna change my opinion on that. So the first cream that I have here is Shady Navy and it's very pretty. I just have so many navy polishes that I was kind of hoping for more of a, like a unique color. I personally just don't see myself using another blue polish from Holotaco a ton. However, you know, with the overarching new year theme being to push my limits, um, I'm gonna see what I can do with this guy. I'm sure it looks beautiful. I just haven't swatched this one. I'm gonna be really curious to see how it compares to the other blue nail polishes from Holotaco. It's, I don't know, maybe this is just me. I'm sure the formula performs great. I really like the wide flat brush from Holotaco. So I'm not gonna like shit on these polishes just because they're a color that I have a lot of already. So our last polish from the collection is Lavenda, and I love this name. I think it's super fun. It's this very pretty pastel lavender color. Kind of is like lighter version of my favorite purple polish, which is Wisteria by Picture Polish. I think that color is absolutely beautiful and it's my favorite purple I've ever used. This is what they all look like unwrapped. I'm very intrigued to play with these. These are very like, icy colors, very winter themed. Like Now that I have these polishes in my hand, I'm actually kind of into this. Still more excited about the box, but I like how one of the shimmers looks like the outside of the box. It's, you know, it's just those details that I really appreciate. So let's go ahead and jump into swatching. Ooh wee, I am down to the wire for this review. Our first hollow taco polish is Shady Navy, which is of course that blue navy shade. It does apply very, very nicely. As you can see, this is a very opaque shade and if you have shorter nails, you'll probably be able to get away with one coat. As you can see, my very long nails are nearly fully covered with that single coat. So I am absolutely in love still with the Holo Taco Cream formula. The majority of their darker polishes are one coaters. So that's always very, very nice. Like I said earlier in the video, I wanted to see how Shady Navy compared to some of the other blue creams in the Holo Taco collection. And Royal Tea Blue was probably the only one that was the closest match. And as you can see, two very different colors. Next up, we have Lavenda, which is still a very beautiful pastel purple. I really liked how this one performed. I was a little worried that it would be very sheer. However, it was not very sheer. I would say that this is definitely a two coater on me and probably on anybody else, even if you have shorter nails. Even though it looks very opaque on camera, in person there were a few patchy spots, so I just fixed those up with a second coat. And as you can see, it applied beautifully because it's lavender. Now that we've quickly gone over the creams, let's scurry on over to those shimmers. Once again, this is a new formula to Hollow Taco, and we're gonna kick this off with Celestial Lights. This particular shimmer leans heavily on the green, both over black and white, as you can see here. On the white, there is a pink shift to it. However, there's still quite a lot of green to that shimmer. I find that all of these have a very opalescent effect on the nail, so that could be fun to play around with, especially for some like bubble nail art looks. Our next shimmer is Polar Princess, which I really like that name. This one is very pink, orange, purple, and blue, depending on whether or not it is over a black or a white. I thought this one was probably my favorite. As I was saying in my earlier part of this video, this one matched the shimmer on the outside of the box, which I thought was a very fun detail. Our last shimmer is Twilight Shimmer, and this one is more of a blue and purple leaning, though over white, it does have a yellowish green kind of shimmer to it. And I really like this one over black, but I also really like it over Lavenda. I think it looks great. 
And with that, we are done. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to make a nail art video to accompany this video. However, it's going to be separate just because of the timing of everything. I don't have enough time to do a full swatch review and then also do a tutorial in 24 hours before this has to go up. So hopefully that video will be coming out very, very soon. It'll probably just be in addition to my Saturday video as I just, you know, I don't want two weeks of just Hollow Taco. Unfortunately, the collection box is currently sold out as of filming this video, and which is why I'm like, I need that faster shipping option so I can tell people that it's still available by the time I release these videos. But with that, thank you so much for watching. Look out for that tutorial. And if you like this video, like this video. And if you like my videos, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Little ASMR for all of you. I hate ASMR. <laughs> I saw like a sneak, I'm gonna insert an image. I don't know why I'm holding it up to the camera.